I'm going to unbox this and then whack the GoPro on the car and go for a drive. Do you want to come along? Hi everyone, this is Bren. Today we're looking at the new GoPro quick release suction cup mount. Now this is the third generation suction cup mount and even though I've been using the suction cup mount for a few years now, I really like this new update. I've been saying for a long time that all the GoPro mounts should be available with quick release connections. And slowly, GoPro is doing just that, re-releasing the original thumbscrew mounts with quick releases. Let's unbox the pack and have a look at what you get. Okay, so you get the suction cup base with a compact quick release mount. You also get a long quick release arm which gives you more range of movement for different mounting positions. You get two thumb screw mounts so that you can still use the suction cup mount in the original fashion. One's for the compact mode and the other one is for the extension arm. You get a short right angled extension piece with a thumb screw. And lastly, a nice touch is that you get a GoPro bag to keep your suction cup mount in. I'm going to demonstrate the suction cup mount on the car, but you can also use it on other moving things such as boats, kayaks, uh, motorcycles, uh, snowmobiles, uh, tractors and lots more. The suction cup mount can be applied to just about any flat, rigid, smooth, non-textured surface. However, the suction cup is not recommended for high impact activities like skiing, snowboarding or surfing. The mount utilises a heavy duty industrial strength suction cup and GoPro says that it can be mounted to a vehicle travelling at up to 150 miles per hour. However, it's important that the surface be completely clean, otherwise the mount could lose contact. And that's definitely not what you want when you're travelling at speed with your GoPro on the outside of the vehicle. 150 miles per hour, that's a lot faster than I'll ever be driving. But if you feel in the least bit worried about losing a camera, then adding a leash to the mount may make you feel a little bit more comfortable. The suction cup mount is compatible with all model GoPro Hero cameras and it's very easy to install and remove. Let's start with the compact mode and I'm going to mount it to the bonnet of the car but first I'll give the bonnet a quick clean. Place the base onto the bonnet facing the direction that you want the camera pointing press down on the middle button that forces all the air out and then pull down the locking lever and that locks the suction cup down tight. You can then clip the GoPro camera into the quick release mount. You can use either the standard quick release buckle or the larger J hook buckle, it doesn't matter. If you want, you can use either the LCD backpack or the GoPro app to line up the camera. That way your shot will look exactly the way you want it to. Also, if you use the GoPro app, you can operate the camera from inside the car. But note that in most countries, using your cell phone while driving is against the law. So make sure you pull over before doing so. To change over from the compact mode to the extended mode, all you need to do is unscrew this nut here. Withdraw the bolt, remove the compact piece and reinsert the extended quick release arm. Put the bolt back in, put the nut back on,
Now, you'll notice that this is in a different direction. So I've added this short extension piece. That way when we click it in, the camera is facing the right direction. There is now four pivot points which we can use to adjust the camera and get it into the exact position that we want. To remove the suction cup mount, you simply pull up on the locking lever, then pull up on this plastic tab at the front to release the base. Okay, let's go for that drive. And I'm going to show you some of the different mounting positions for the car to make the most of the suction cup mount. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Every time you hit the like button, it really helps our channel grow. You can watch more of our GoPro related videos by clicking on one of the links below. And if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to Bryn Mag Productions to be notified when we upload new videos. This is Bryn, thanks for watching.